man. Somebody seen this. First time wearing it, I, I never know what the fuck to think of it, but I just wore it, you know what I mean? With uh, my J's and shout out to it. Uh, the person at the store was like, yo, you that's a dope shirt you get it from. So, glad I actually wore it. Um, word to the wise, don't buy shit just to buy it, you know what I mean? Actually buy it because you actually got something to go with it. This was a shirt that I bought that I was going to eventually wear for um, Memorial Day, but I didn't wear it over the weekend, you know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, but why I came here, mixtape review, Rocco with Poet EP. Wow. All I can say is amazing. He needs to keep this flow. In my opinion, this is my opinion, I enjoyed the whole project. He had no flaws, nowhere. Nothing on this mixtape was whack. That's just my opinion. Y'all can let me know what y'all think. Definitely worth listening to. Every song on here is fire. I had no problem. Production was A1. He did his thing. And he needs to flow like this. You know what I mean? Straight up. Number one, control substance. Smooth beat. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Straight nice, man. His flow was amazing. His lyrics was real. Listen to them lyrics and his bars. He's explaining about his flow and the way he raps and everything like that. So definitely listen to it. You know what I mean? Number two, poet produced by Chasing Cash. Y'all know who that is. Brucker Spit too. A very hard beat. A cool hook. I like his flow. His lyrics was on point. Them bars was crazy. The content of it. Son is a poet for real. Hustle featuring Nas. This is why we came here. Nas. For everybody to say that that East Coast artists don't fuck with Southern artists, I don't know why y'all say that. Nas delivered a crazy verse. Now, this is what the Bloss is talking about. Nas is on a song with Rocco. Someone say, why the fuck would Nas get on a song with a low-grade nigga like that? It's just showing respect, my nigga. This song, Hustle, dope as fuck. I'm not overselling it. It's a great song. Soulful beat. Great hook. Nas, dope. He killed it. Damn, it's good to hear him. Rocco kept up with him. Wasn't a pushover. Nas didn't come and steal the track, so don't even sit there and say that. Definitely a good song. I love the lyrics on there. Both of them was, they was equal on the track, in my opinion. Definitely a good song. That song get three checks for me, and y'all know how I feel about three checks. Damn. Phenomenal woman. Self-explanatory, man. Uh, it could be about any woman, you know what I mean? But listen to the song, though. Smooth beat, great hook, uh, real life lyrics in there. I love his flow, and definitely a good song, you know what I mean? So, salute to the ladies, straight up. Number five, Pain, smooth beat, good hook, decent flow. I like his lyrics because he spit real lyrics, so I'm not mad at that. And the content wise was straight. Uh, number six, it's a real song, man. Call You in Heaven, you know what I mean? Listen, listen to the title and, and understand. Uh, mellow beat, real hook, real lyrics, honest lyrics. I love his flow on that record. I like his flow. So you can't get mad at that. You know what I mean? I was shocked to actually hear that, and I was happy to listen to the song. Forever. Soulful beat, great sample, cool flow, real lyrics, good hook. Definitely a good song. You got to listen to that. He's really talking some shit on there. Sorry that the music is so loud, my nigga. God damn. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn this shit down. Real talk. I didn't know it was that motherfucker loud. All right, shit, that shit was fucking me up. But yeah, man, number seven, like I was saying, definitely a good look, you know what I mean? Number eight, the last track, street poetry, soulful beat, dope sample, uh, decent flows. I like his lyrics on there, he spit some real shit on there. And definitely, man, he if he can flow like this, he should have no problem being in a rap game. Some would say it's time over with, but I think he feel right in with how the southern rappers are, you know, rapping and doing certain shit because I think he can do any type of music that's out there that's coming from especially Atlanta so it's not hard behind that and don't get it fucked up for y'all that don't know Rocco don't think he broke he the one who signed Future so all his accolades Future is getting up and getting that cake he's getting paid off it that's just some information if y'all didn't know that so don't sleep on this nigga yes he's the nigga that did I'ma do me you know what I'm saying and other songs but notably he has a label he signed Future that's for everybody that may see this review and say some sucker shit. Know that he's a CEO. Google that man, you will see. He got cake. Don't never get it twisted. You know, he had kids with one of the most beautiful women from the South, Monica. So do your research before you actually say some shit. That's because people be telling me that. You used to tell me that. Do your research first. I do my research, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I don't think I knocked out one, two, three reviews today. So I'm going to give it a rest. See y'all tomorrow, man. One.